Upgrading a Cisco Nexus switch can be a nightmare for most of network engineers because most of them are not used to operate and manage Cisco Nexus switches. After all, they are mainly used in data center environments and not all of us have the opportunity to work in this kind of environment. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to acquire the skill to upgrade the Cisco Nexus switch without sweating. Okay, this is my Nexus switch and first thing we have to know is the switch model. And to know that, we're going to run the command show inventory, okay? And we can see that it says, okay, this is uh, 9300 V, okay, next 9000, 9300 V. Or we can also run the command uh, show version, okay. And it's going to give us uh, more detailed information. So, for instance, we can see here next 9000, 9300 V. And also, the other piece of information that we need is the software version currently we have running on this switch. And in my case, we can see here that it says the Next OS, that's the Nexus operating system, is running the version 9.3.11. And this is the file that is being used to run the software version. We can confirm that also by running, not dart, by running the command dir. And we can see here, this is the file that we have. Okay, so this switch is the switch 9300V. And this is the current version we are running 9311. Okay, we have this information. The, the next one is to know, okay, to which software version we can upgrade this switch to. Okay, to know the software version that we can upgrade to, we're going to use the Cisco Nexus 9000 and 3000 upgrade and ISSU uh, metric. Essentially, this is going to tell us, look, you're running this version, you can upgrade to this version. And so we're going to use, uh, there are two options. We can use the disruptive upgrade or the ISSU or in-service software upgrade. Essentially, disruptive upgrade, as the name suggests, is going to disrupt the traffic, meaning uh, in a production environment, you want to do this in a maintenance window. Normally, it's best practice to upgrade the switches during a maintenance window. Uh, like you might, you have to expect that something might go wrong okay this is normal and the disruptive upgrade means that it's going to affect the data plane so traffic that is passing on the switch is going to uh, cut the switches might have to reboot for some time the issu upgrade is not going to affect the data plane meaning you can upgrade and it won't uh, disrupt the traffic and we're going to see how to perform the upgrade using the first option disrupting upgrade so first we have to select our current release and if you recall i'm running the software version 9.3.11 so i'm going to select the current release and it was 9.3.11 and now we're going to select the target release so we can select the one of these uh, versions there or we can see to which uh, the target release that we can upgrade to directly to so meaning without uh, going through an intermediate release and so i'm running 9311 i can upgrade to directly to one of these uh, versions so just for the sake of the video i'm going to select 9312 just to make it easy but i can select any other uh, of these uh, versions if i want to so i'm going to select the target release to be 9312 okay and then i can take a look at the release notes and so i already know that this is a direct path okay so now let's go to cisco software download page and here we have to search for our switch in my case i have the 9300v so i can search by the product name here 9300v uh if i type v it's not going to find and if i remove v uh these are the switches that it's going to show which essentially uh tells me that uh the switch doesn't exist now if you want to follow this process just like i'm doing in a virtual environment so there are a couple of things that you have to understand about the nexus 9000v okay we're going to use this configuration guide for cisco nexus 9000v and if we scroll a little bit uh, here uh, we're going to see the following. So Cisco Nexus 9000V is a virtual platform family designed to simulate control plane aspects of a standalone switch running Cisco Nexus 9000 software. Now this platform uses the same software image that runs on 
Nexus 9000 hardware platforms. Although the virtual platforms don't attempt to simulate any specific ASICs, uh, they are aligned with their hardware counterparts, okay? Lotomize Cisco software data plane handles the traffic across the line cars interface. The next thousand, the next 9000V virtual platform consists of two virtual platforms, the 9300 and the 9500. So essentially what they're saying is the software running on these platforms, the 9300V and the 9500V is the same software version running on the hardware platform. Although we didn't find the 9300V or the 9500V as a platform, we can select the software uh, running on these hardware devices, meaning the 9300 series for hardware or the 9500 series for hardware and upload that software file into the 9300V. So if we go back to Cisco software download, and if we search for 9000V and we go to the next 9000V switch, uh, you're going to see that we can't find the software version for uh, 9300 or 9500. Okay, we only see this file, uh, even if we want like for 9312, as we said, this is the version we want to upgrade to. We only find these files dot box dot ova dot kikal ova in kikal and these are not the software uh, or the files that we need to upgrade the switch. Okay, so let's go back to Nexus 9000 series switch, and here we're going to uh, find or choose uh, one uh, platform that might be compatible with the 9300V. And I already know, uh, so let's start for 9332C switch. And the reason why I chose this platform is that if we come back here to uh, where we, we found the, the version we can upgrade to, if you take a look at here, the 9300, we have the same, uh, the same platform, the 9332C, okay? So that's the reason I chose this this version. So I'm going to select this switch and here I'm going to select the next OS system software. And here we're going to now to search for the version we want to upgrade to. In my case, I want to upgrade to 9312. Okay. And this is the file we want to download. The next OS 9312 ends with bin. Okay. And I'm going to download this file. After downloading the image, we can upload to the switch. But before we do that, I want to share this document with you. And it is the Cisco Nexus 3000 series NexOS software upgrade and downgrade guide. Now, this document is going to explain in greater detail what are the steps that you have to do before uh, starting the upgrade process and also during the upgrade process and post upgrade process. Okay. Uh, so different uh, uh, procedures like for different scenarios, for instance, with VPC, uh, in case you want to use ISSU. Okay, so there is a lot that I recommend you take a look at. And so let's see, for instance, uh, let's go through uh, upgrade prerequisites. So a couple of things that you have to validate there before starting the upgrade process, but we're not going to go through all of these. Uh, but what I want to show you is the command that we're going to use to upgrade the switch is going to be install O. And I believe they have here, uh, let me see, the, an example on how to do it using fast reload, uh, fast reloading ask. It should be, yes, using the install O command. And so you can use the install O non interruptive. And they have an example here on how to use uh, the this command, okay? Install all NextOS, boot flash NextOS, and the file image. So in this case, we have to send this to the boot flash. Okay, to upload the file to the switch, I'm going to use FTP. And to do that, I'm going to open my FileZilla, connect to a server, okay? And essentially, this uh, server or FTP server uh, is going to allow me to send the file over to the switch and this is a basic configuration so I just uh, set the uh, create a, a user account uh, admin and the set the password and this folder as you can see the TFTP folder is the same one that I have here the native path 
just so everything that I send here is going to be the root to send to whatever device that I want. Okay. So I'm not going to make any change, just going to minimize these. Now let's go back to the switch. Okay, to use FTP, we need IP reachability, meaning the switch must have an IP address and must be able to talk with my FTP server or the Windows PC. And to do that, I configure uh, the management interface. I assign an IP address, 192.168.43.24, and I have to validate whether I can reach the FTP server from the switch. And I can run the command 192.168.43.4 using VRF because uh, the interface, as you can see, it's in a different VRF, is in a different routing table. In this case, it's going to be a management one. And I'm going to send a ping and I can confirm that I have communication between the switch and my FTP server. So now I can run the command copy FTP coming from this user uh, it is on this machine and the file name oops my better let me do that again so dear copy using ftp admin at 192.168.43.4 and the file should be 12 Okay, and I want to send this to boot flash and I'm going to use VRF management. Okay, now I'm going to type the password and just start copying the file from my FTP server to the switch. Okay, it looks like the file was uploaded completely. So double check. We have here NexOS 9312. Okay, and currently we are running 9311. Okay, so Let's install all NexOS boot flash NexOS 12 bin. Enter. So the switch is going to run some checks, like as you can see here. So it was validating whether the image is okay. And so, for instance, what else do we want? So it's going to be, yeah, that's one. So this is the current version running and it's going to upgrade to 9.3.12. Okay. And so now we have to confirm. Do you want to continue with installation? And yes, we want. So now it's going to start the installation and then it's going to reboot the switch. Okay, it looks like the switch is back online and didn't take long actually. So let's see. I'm going to log in as admin. Now type my super secret password. Okay, show version. Did upgrade? Yeah, it is. So currently it's running 9.3.12. Okay. And we can also see that the NexOS image file is boot flash NexOS 9.3.12. Awesome. And we can also probably show boot is going to tell me the same thing. Yeah. NexOS uh, variable boot flash NexOS 9.3.12. And guys, as you can see, this is how you upgrade a Cisco Nexus switch. It's easy and straightforward. So if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.